Hey everybody, how to fix that type of error scaffolding failed? Actually, uh, just add views and razor views and select add. And here we have just uh, go for the added part and the model class is a, a type of facilities view model. And you can see that just when we click to add button and then that type of error will be occurred literally uh, just uh, I want to say that that's the problem of the packages trust me that's the problem uh, is the uh, is that the in the packages so just uh, update that package uh, like manage nuget package and here we have installed version of the package of the Microsoft dot Visual Studio code uh, Visual Studio dot web dot code generation dot design and that problem will be resolved in 6.0.10 so just update that version uh, and your problem will be resolved just trust me uh, on that uh, please trust me there is a 10.0 so just uh, go for the uh, again facilities uh, controller section and just go for the edit section add views so select the razor views and just click to add button and here we go for the edit and uh, here go for the facilities view model and there is no need to of that data context class scaffolding updating dependency information building project and the microsoft visual studio uh, scaffolder had changed the version of the updated version and generating the code you can say that if you got that type of error you can see uh, the problem fixing your, their problem is uh, similar because your uh, package will be rolled back again and you can see uh, in the web project and manage new get package and here you can see that the updated version is also uh, there is the installed version but you can see that uh, there is a rollback again for 6.0.9 and there is the 6.0.10 is there so uh, just remove that package first of all okay so uh, the package will be removed and the code generation package install so the rollback code generation microsoft dot visual studio dot web dot code generation dot contract code generation is 0 point uh, zero, uh, 1 point 6.0.10 Okay, so there is the package and code generation dot design is also there. Uh, so there is a uh, there is a two packages. Uh, one for the Visual Studio uh, Visual Studio Microsoft Visual Studio dot web dot code generation and design package. So install this design package first of all. The latest version is six point zero point ten. And you can see that is the installed version of Microsoft Visual Studio dot code generation. And there are the packages 6.0.10. Again, after uh, go for the facilities and just go for your add views, razor views. Just click on it and uh, select add it. And you just go for the facilities view model and just go for add and you you can see that the updating dependency information building projects generating code so the same problem will be occurred because your package will be rolled back again and if you want to see that package information on the nuget package and you will see that there is a package 
browse and install version of the Microsoft Visual Studio .web .code generation design is 6.0.9 and if you want to uh, just remove that package again okay so uh, if you want to install code generation again so the if you want to uh, if you upgrade your packages information Microsoft Visual Studio .web and uh, code generation dot core web um, microsoft visual studio dot web dot code generation dot core is the package name so just install it again and the latest version will be installed is successfully installed and here we go for the facilities room controller gain and add views razor views like to add button add it and model class is facilities view model and just click to add and here we go for the updating information of the nuget packages that is uh, 6 uh, 0.9 is automatically installed Okay, so the package will be uh, rolled back not because your uh, packages will be installed successfully. So the correct package is Microsoft.VisualStudio.Web.CodeGeneration.Core. So must install that package Microsoft.VisualStudio.Web.CodeGeneration.Core and your problem will be resolved easily. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and fix that problem. Is it okay? Thank you very much.